everybody. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, where we women over 50 learn tips and tricks to stay in the game. And today we're going to be talking about home microcurrent devices to firm our skin, and specifically this little guy, the Microcurrent Mini. And I've been using it for five weeks now. This was supposed to be a 30-day test, but I went a little bit long. Okay, let's get down to this. Again, today I'll be showing you my 30-day before and after results using the MyoLift Mini which is microcurrent, and that is all the rage lately. There are microcurrent devices that are used at esthetician salons and also microcurrent devices for home use. And this MyoLift Mini was actually created by a company called 7E Wellness that is actually responsible for probably 60, 70, 80, 90% of the professional microcurrent devices that are in aesthetics salons. So I was really excited to use this. Now, I hope you've watched my first video on the microcurrent tutorial where I took you through all how to use it and also discussed in depth the benefits of microcurrent. But in a nutshell, microcurrent devices are scientifically proven to increase ATP in our skin. Now, ATP increases the synthesis of collagen and elastin in our skin. Microcurrent devices have been scientifically proven to increase ATP and to energize the muscles. Also, unlike elsewhere on the body, the facial muscles are directly connected to the skin. So the result of energizing the muscle is often an improved lifted appearance, which is just wonderful. Now, before I get into showing you my before and after pictures, and they are very interesting, let me tell you a little bit about my history using microcurrent. Basically, since August of 2018, August or September, I have used the New Face microcurrent device. So for about three and a half years, I quit it for a month or so, and I did a video about the results of that, that I quit New Face back in December, getting ready to start the MyoLift Mini test in early January. Okay, now let me preface these pictures by saying, I am not a scientist and I took the pictures in the same lighting, nothing is retouched. And so the pictures you're going to be seeing are my best attempt to, to keep everything exactly the same, the facial expressions, all of that. But again, I'm not a professional at that and these are not scientific pictures, so please give me a little leeway there. Okay, now what you've all been waiting for, my before and after pictures, and I'll start with the front of my face. In the before picture, you can see how my face looked on January 6th before I started the Maya Lift. And in the after picture on the right there, there I am five weeks later, and I've got some arrows up around the eye area. And I am not sure, but I really think that my sort of hooded lids are kind of getting better in the second picture on the right, especially that hooded eye on the left that is really hooded in the before picture. And then the nasal labial folds look like maybe they're lessening as well. I don't want to give you my opinions. I'd like you to weigh in in the comments section. And on the jawline, I do feel like it is firmed up a little bit in the after picture because in the before picture there, it looks a little bit soft and then it looks a little more chiseled and defined in the after picture. And I will say that during the five weeks of treatment there, I started out using the MyoLift Mini with the probes, but then very soon thereafter, within about two weeks, I started using two other devices that I actually purchased with my own money from the company. And after I get through the next set of before and after pictures, the ones to the right and the ones to the left, I'll show you what else I did. And I think it was a really easy way to use the MyoLift, really like that. Okay, let's get into the next set of pictures. And these are the left side of my face. And there I am on January 6th in the before picture on the left. And in the under eye area, it looks like it's a little bit baggy and saggy, maybe a little bit firmer in the after picture on the right. But where I think you might truly be able to see a good difference is in the jowl there. Because on the left hand side in the before picture, you can really see a couple of very well defined lines, maybe two or three. They're getting deeper and deeper. And then on the right, it looks like they are really getting to be more shallow. It looks like those lines are not nearly so prominent. And then in terms of the jaw, I'm not sure, but it seems like maybe the jaw got a little sharper in the after picture. And also just in terms of the overall look of the face in the before picture, it just looks like I look a little tired, a little sallow, a little gray. And then in the after picture, my skin just looks a little perkier, a little firmer, a little rosier. I really kind of think it has a little bit younger, fresher look, but again, you're going to have to be the judge of that. Now let's take a look at the results on the right side of my face. And I really don't think they were as dramatic. There I am on January 6th in the before picture. And there is my picture on the right, the after picture five weeks later. And in terms of these pictures, the picture on the right, the before picture in that nasal labial fold area, I think maybe that is the most dramatic change. You can really see I've got quite a few lines there in that nasal fold area. 
And then in the after picture, it looks like they've lightened up some. And I put an arrow in the upper part of the cheeks. And the reason I did that is because when the nasal folds get deeper, it is usually because the cheek fat is falling down some and it's causing that fold. And when you look at the difference in the top arrow in the before picture to the top arrow in the after picture, it almost looks like the whole cheekbone is just more lifted and more sculpted and more firm. Now, in terms of the jawline, I'm really not sure I'm seeing a difference. Perhaps it does look a little bit firmer in the after picture than it did in the before. And I was really pleased with my results. And like I mentioned before, I started out for the first two weeks using the MyoLift machine with these probes. And quite honestly, there is a learning curve here. In fact, I had to go back and forth with the company several times to show them my workout because apparently I was doing it wrong at first and they had to kind of correct me. So you really do have to be willing, if you use the MyoLift, to really be committed to learning the system and to doing it right. I think they even have a certification course you can take if you really want to make sure you're doing it right. But after the first few weeks, I actually purchased a couple of things from the company that I really enjoyed. The first is the set of masks. And this is an eye mask, and this is a lip mask. And basically, you put these on. They've got some sticky stuff on them. You put them around here, around your eyes, and then around your lips. You can do it at the same time. And then you unhook the probes, and you just go ahead and plug them in right directly to the MyoLift machine. And as you do that, it gives you like a 20-minute firming workout. And I did it many nights with my husband. We always go down to the basement and watch TV together. And he didn't like this, but I had to have him leave the lights on because I really did want to kind of see what I was doing to get it set up. And so I did that. And then I followed that up with these gloves. And I highly recommend these gloves. Actually, the masks and the gloves really make the treatment much easier. But here are the little gloves. And I think they're like $29. They're not bad at all. And then you put white cotton gloves underneath them. And then you put these gloves on your hands. And you just have a bowl of water in front of you. And then you just dip your fingers in the water. You don't need the gel at all when you use the gloves. And then you're just going to use your fingers in the gloves just like you would have used the probes. And it is much, much easier. And I will say, definitely make sure you get some white cotton gloves because the first night I didn't know that I should be doing that. And it was really kind of almost shocking my hands. And when you're doing this correctly, you should not feel anything. So the second night, I got some white cotton gloves and I did just fine. And if you're thinking about getting the system, I would really highly recommend getting the mask and the gloves. And if you're not yet a part of the 50 Plus Beauty family, if you could subscribe, that would be great. Click that little notification bell and also give this video a thumbs up. That would just be awesome. Well, that was a look at my experience using the MyoLift, and I think it was very successful. I was personally very pleased. And again, please give me your thoughts in the comment section below the video. Going forward, though, I am so used to using the new face because I'd used it for four years. And quite honestly, it was part of this mini habit that I had formed over the years. And that is that Monday through Friday mornings, I go down to the basement and do my weight workout routine. And between sets, I would do the new face and also my face yoga routine that I do. Each one took less than 10 minutes. It was really very easy. And I did like the routine of that. So I am really not sure. I'm kind of torn because the MyoLift is really stronger current than the new face and you have to do it less. When you're in the training phase for the first like six weeks, eight weeks, you can use this once a week and then thereafter you can use it once or twice a month is all. And with a new face for the first 60 days of treatment, they recommend you do it five days a week and thereafter in the maintenance phase, you can do it two to three times a week. I really like both units and basically what I would do if you're trying to make your decision is really decide do you want something where you have to be really invested in the treatment and really learn and you know experience the learning curve and really be devoted but then down the road you don't have to do it as much because it is very strong or do you want something that is going to be easier to do you can basically get it right out of the box and do it but you will have to do it more often over the long haul it's just kind of personal preference because microcurrent is scientifically proven to firm the skin i really think that it does and i have had great results using both units and if you have used and loved the myolift mini or you have any thoughts about it at all or the new face 
I hope that you will share that information in the comment section below the video and also let me know if you'd like to see a 30-day results video on the bear unit. That's that little pink unit. I'd be glad to do that for you. Well, that was my look at yet another microcurrent device. And again, I totally believe in microcurrent and I believe in all of you. And if you would like to stick around to watch another video on my channel, I would love to have you.